All right, how to thread something using the sweep and helical helix commands in Onshape. So if you look, this is a external thread on the outside and I built a different one on the inside. Uh, there is a lot of flexibility here. You can see where it starts up here. Yeah. And you can build it on anything circular. I decided to go off cylinder, cylinder. So remember, you've got a, what do you call it? Folder here, and then you want to create your parts in there. All right. I would like to rename it, but I can't see the bottom of the screen. So let's just keep moving. Uh, I'm going to make a big old cylinder here. Uh, make it easier to... thread. So let's go with uh, six inches and then let's offset it by a solid inch. So done with that. Let's get rid of all these views. They're kind of in the way, although I will need them later. So they'll be coming back. And then let's pick this outer ring and let's extrude it. Let's extrude it a lot. Let's go with a solid uh, 10 inches. Good. Now we're going to thread the inside. Um, original threading is quite easy. We just slap this helix in here. So we can do it by pitch, which is number of threads per inch. Um, although I think they do it in a different way. All sorts of fun and games here. I would I highly recommend playing with it all. Clockwise, sure, unless you know it's counterclockwise. Your helical pitch one inch. Let's see what that means. As you can see, it's pretty spread out. It's one inch from uh, thread to thread. Um, let's go with uh, 0.1 inches. And you can see it's insanely dense, although not necessarily, but let's go with 0.2. Split the difference a little bit. Sure, why not? Uh, we can change start angle. I don't see any need to do that. Uh, we should chamfer these edges. I did not chamfer the edges and uh, regretted it last time. So let's find uh, chamfer. And we just do this edge here, uh, 0.2 inch. Sure, why not? I mean, I don't, I don't see any reason not to. Um, actually, we'll come back and do that later. I'm not going to do that now. So we will chamfer it, and I should chamfer the bottom too. So... We back away and I need my views. I need the one that's perpendicular, this one. And we're gonna do a sketch on there. So front and we're on the inside. So I'm gonna be building right off of here. And we're gonna do this uh, little equilateral triangle. Why is this Xing out? What's wrong with my sketch? Sketch. Okay, whatever I was doing wrong, it's fine now. Um, yeah, so I'm going to actually build this triangle. The triangle is going to carve in and spin around the inside. Uh, it's going to be an equilateral triangle, and there's lots of different ways you can make it. I'm going to go down, over, and up. Zoom in on this. So I just make some random triangle, all right? Escape triangle or escape line. Then I highlight it all. Boom. You go up here to constraints and I say, make them all equal. Gives me a nice equilateral triangle. Now, if I recall, the pitch was 0.2. So I wanna make this a little bit smaller than that. And you wanna experiment with this. This is not hard and fast. I've played with this just for about a half hour. Now let's go with 0.15. And I have this happen all the time where uh, things go fluey. I'm gonna undo that because I don't like the fact that it ran off over there. I'll come back and fix that later. I'm going to use another constraint. I'm going to use something called a Pierce constraint, which sounds a lot like a coincident constraint, but it's a slightly bit different. So we are going to grab uh, this line, and by that, it's going to grab the point, and we're going to grab the helix. And now they're locked on together. So when I go turn that off and mess with this, it won't go running off on me. 0.15, the keyboard's getting a little beat up. 
That's it. All we gotta do is sweep now. Hopefully you know what a sweep is from a prior lesson. We say sweep, we say the triangle, we say the heel, oh, we gotta remove. Uh, we gotta click in sweep path. We gotta click this and it just goes around and cards out a sweep. Notice it takes a little bit of time. Looks like it may have worked. Yep, done. By the triangle, by the helix, and there we are. We have threaded the inside edge. Now notice it shows where the thread starts here, so that's why we're going to champ for the edges. I'm going to leave this plane on, even though it bugs me. So chamfer. Uh, sure. Oh, that's kind of giving me a hard time there. Yep, and you see the thread. And that's actually how a thread looks when it starts, and then I'll chamfer this end too. Come on. Notice you might have to change the distance there depending on what you built. That's it. So if you're making a, a thread, that's an internal thread. I meant to do the outside, outside one first. Now I feel dumb. But that's okay. Uh, it carved into what we're doing, which is fine. That's how it should. It's still got a diameter down there. But you can see that it gives you a really nice looking thread. Um, for other software programs, you just tell them thread it by a certain standard. And threads come in English and metric standards. Um, so you would have to know a bit more about threads to get it exactly right. For our purposes, this is totally fine. Let's do an external thread. Uh, we need to start a sketch there. And is that that one? Yeah, that'll work. Now we're on the outside. All righty. So let's make our equilateral triangle. By the way, I screwed up my equilateral triangle a lot of times. So if you don't get it right on the first try, don't worry about it. Uh, nope, I'm exiting out. And I am, ooh, chamfer one was not happy. Whatever, it didn't make my sketch. The reason I'm exiting out, I forgot the first step is a helix. And let's go with a much different one, pitch and one inch is good. It's bigger by a lot than this one. I want to leave it bigger. Good. Sketch right there. View it. Zoom in. Equilateral triangle. Down. Over. Cool. Escape. Highlight. Equal. Makes all those pieces equal. Dimension. Now, I think I just did a one inch, so let's go with 0.8. No idea if this is going to work. Wouldn't be the first time. Uh, notice it didn't cause a problem, even though I didn't do Pierce first. I really should do Pierce first. You and you. I, I don't even know what that does. But hey, it works. Done. Zoom out a little bit. Sweep. Gonna sweep you onto, well, for goodness sakes, remove, sweep path. Notice you can't be in a rush when you do this. You really gotta slow it down and just get it done right. And that's, that's I'm sorry, but that's a pretty amazing looking sweep. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of impressed with myself. Wow, that is really cool. So there's your external thread. Uh, let's chamfer that sucker just for neatness. And let's go with uh, 0.5. Why? I don't know. Why not? Um, it's not letting me. There it goes. It's going to be weird. I should have done this before I threaded it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it worked. So we shaved that off. Should have done it first. And we'll see about this side, uh, whether I want to. Yeah, yeah, that's just hideous. I can't, I can't have that. that. That makes me crazy. You, sure. Hey, 0.4, I said. Okay. 
Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. All right, so now you can screw something on there if you want. Internal thread, external thread. Turn off my front view. Flip it the way it's supposed to be, front top right. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, you're gonna play with this for whatever you're building. It's kind of tricky, um, but it's cool. So uh, make sure you make this or some other device that's cylindrical with two threads on it and put it on a drawing, your drawing, and hand it in. Good luck.